بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الیکٹرک مشینس سبجیکٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی ٹوڈے ان وچ آور ویری فرسٹ ٹاپک از میگنیٹک سرکٹس سو فرسٹ آف آل وی ول سی دیٹ ہاؤ میگنیٹک فیل فیلڈ کین انٹریکٹ ان فور ڈفرنٹ ویز سو وی ہیو سمپل کرنٹ کیرنگ کنڈکٹر ہیئر یو کین سی دیٹ اف وی ہیو a simple conductor that is of course a conductor in which a current is flowing in this direction so this will produce a magnetic field and that will be counterclockwise according to our right hand rule of course this magnetic field will depend upon the magnitude of current so how would we apply right hand rule So for this purpose, we have this uh, right hand that is shown in this figure. So we have this thumb that will be in the direction of electric currents. So this curlings of fingers that will present the direction of magnetic field. Of course, we can present our magnetic field with magnetic field density or flux. And sometimes it is also presented by H. and h is again a vector quantity and this is magnetic field intensity later on we will discuss these uh, magnitudes these uh, these quantities in detail so second thing we have that is called as transformer action in current carrying conductor you can see that the direction of the current was in this direction if we reverse the direction of magnetic field the magnetic field will become clockwise so if we have a, a sinusoidal current the direction of magnetic field will will be depending upon the direction of current it will be uh, counterclockwise on the first positive cycle if the current is moving upward and if current is moving downward it will be clockwise in second phenomena we have this transformer action and what is transformer action this will be time varying magnetic field and how this will be produced suppose we have a magnet that is moving this can be one way another way is we have a core material in which a wire is wounded and this wire is connected with a sinusoidal source This sinusoidal source will produce a voltage that is time varying. Of course, that will be a sinusoidal waveform. So the current will be changing. So the field that that will be appearing on this side, that will be again a function of time and that will be sine or cosine. Later on, we will discuss which quantity will be leading or lagging. So if we put or place another coil in front of it with a wire wounded on it and emf will be produced and this will be in the form of voltage and if we connect a resistor r so that will be that will allow a current passing through it and again that current will be function of time this thing is called transformer action now third thing is motor action now in before these two uh, current carrying conductor or transformer action there was nothing uh, in the form of force nothing was moving uh, for example current uh, this conductor was stationary this conductor was stationary only there was a magnetic field here you have two coils and these two coils are stationary but if 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 we have a magnetic field of course let's uh, let me define in this way this magnetic field is going inside the board like this one now i have a current carrying conductor this is a current carrying conductor and that one is connected with a battery
and of course you can see that the direction of current will be downward so this conductor will experience a force un under the influence of magnetic field we can find out the direction of this magnetic field according to right hand rule this is again a right hand in which the thumb will be in the direction of current the curly the fingers that will be in the direction of magnetic field so this our palm that will present the direction of force so in this diagram you can see that this will be out of the board here you can see that we have drawn inside the board inside the board or you can say inside the plane so it is going inside here you can see this is coming outward so we will apply right hand rule on this diagram here we have current that is moving downward and magnetic field that is inside so what will be the direction of force that will be in this direction so this is our right hand rule and this thing this is uh, the mechanical force is being generated in the presence of electric current and magnetic field so that's why this is called motor action on the contrary you can see our fourth phenomena that is a generator action now what is generator action uh, for this particular action i will make two rails now these rails can carry current of course these will made up of uh, uh, metallic now this one is connected to the external circuit of course that will be resistance r you can see that now if this is present inside a magnetic field now for for your convenience or your understanding i will draw magnetic field that is coming out of the board now if i place if i place a metallic conductor on the top of it now this is a metallic conductor now this metallic conductor can move right or left now if i apply some force on this metallic con conductor of course conductor is made up of metal now if i moving by applying some external force f in this direction in the presence of magnetic field now as you can say that this uh, circuit is being closed a current is passing through uh, this resistance r and moving back and uh, moving back to this conductor and so on now we want to find out this direction Ag again we will apply this this right hand rule for this transformer action so uh, sorry generator action we will see that the we have uh, fingers in the direction of magnetic field force that is moving on the right direction so what will be the direction of current that can be find out by right hand rule so this will be downward direction this is very important if you understand the directions of field and magnetic field uh, the later on lectures will become quite easy for you so the direction of current will be downward you can see that i am moving a conductor and due to this movement of conductor from in this direction charges has started to move in the form of current so the direction of current will be in this direction so this one will be the positive side and this one will be the negative side so we will get some voltage this phenomena is called generator action so i will sum up we have studied today current carrying conductor how that will produce magnetic field we have time varying magnetic field in which one voltage that is changing with respect to time sinusoidal voltage of course is generating an emf in the other coil 
now we have this current carrying conductor present inside the field and this this has generated some force f now we have applied some force f and due to this we have taken as a voltage output so this was all for today thank you very much